Knowing how to ride in a group will help you immensely on your sportif. You'll save valuable energy, you'll be safer, and you might make new friends. Here's a few key pointers. The safest and most efficient way to ride in a group is to ride in rows of two side by side. The size of the group will depend on how often you swap turns on the front, but five minutes each works very well, regardless of the ability of the group. As a rough guide, each rider will then spend approximately five minutes on either side. When in the two rows, keep a consistent pace and be level with each other, and after your five minutes are finished, you need to move slowly in front of the rider next to you when it's safe to do so. And you'll then ride on the front for a further five minutes. This will be repeated with all the riders in the group and eventually will end up at the back of the rope. Although you can of course spend less time on the front if you need to, or miss a turn altogether to rest, which is no bad thing. It's very important to always keep looking ahead and make sure you're concentrating on everything around you when in a group. This formation also means you get to ride next to different people. But remember not to overlap the wheels in the group. You can just ride to the left or right, but ensure you're behind by a margin that you feel comfortable with. Increase this a little in wet conditions to allow for braking. If you feel the need to get out of the saddle when in the group, do this smoothly so as not to let your bike drop backwards and into the rider directly behind you. If you're not in a big enough group to ride in rows, you then need to ride in one line. After your five minutes are up on the front, move over to one side, out of the way of the others, and gradually slow down until you can join the back of the small group safely. Be ride smart when at the front of a group approaching a road junction or turn by taking responsibility to call out the respective action. Left guys. As well as making a clear arm hand signal so that riders behind can take the appropriate action to take the junction and turn smoothly and safely. The view of riders sat further back in the group is often obscured, so be sure to give as much an advance warning as you can, especially on a descent, so riders can safely adjust their speed and take appropriate action and do the same for any hazards in the road, like potholes, debris, etc. Half wheeling is when you're riding at the front of a group as a pair, and one rider edges their wheel in front of the other whilst gradually increasing the speed. Please don't do it. It increases the pace unnecessarily and can be a frustratingly hard experience if you're on the receiving end. It can also cause disharmony in the group, even arguments, so ride smart and do not half wheel. Ride smart and ride in twos where safe, Whoa. Communicate hazards and junctions and never, Easy. ever half wheel. His goal is to sink straight down, so he's going to drop his knees directly to the floor, making sure his front shin keeps straight up and down. 